read this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth as a as the anchor this month's theme is my god who made me understanding our relationship with god and experiencing him on a personal level cannot happen without understanding him as the creator as the source of all things as the one who made us and has a purpose for us join us and be blessed hi everyone today we are going to be reading first timothy chapter 1 verse 17 it's just one verse now unto the king eternal immortal invisible the only wise god the honor and glory forever and ever amen this verse is quite very straightforward i mean it's not one that can be taken out of context Reading the entire chapter or the entire book of First Timothy won't change the meaning of this verse. Personally, this happens to be like my favorite verse in the Bible. The first time I saw it, it was it was so meaningful and real to me. I just started my um, Christian journey that time, and this kind of verse was so encouraging I'm sure we probably have heard the things in this verse before like immortal God invisible God the only wise God the eternal King and stuff like that we may have even said these things to people before but why is it that in our own experiences or in our own situations, in our own personal work with God, sometimes we find it difficult to remember that He is the only wise God. In our day-to-day activities, we say things like, we have an all-knowing God. He sees everything. He knows everything. He created everything. There's nothing he can't do. But in very peculiar situations, then it now sounds like he's not wise enough to advise on certain things. Or it gets... Um, difficult to speak with him first about decisions that we're about to take why why this particular verse i only read it in king james version i've tried like about three other versions and they don't represent it the same way that i am used to it so far, it's only in the King James Version that I've seen that full name, the only wise God. I see other versions removing the wise, um, constructing the sentence in different ways. But the most peculiar name for me in this verse is the only wise God. It's not just the only God, but he is wise. He knows what he's doing he knows exactly why he's doing it and when things happen he understands what made them happen i'm referring to circumstances that we might come across when things happen god knows exactly why it happened and he knows exactly what to do not to make some things happen even a mere man who is considered wise if you see how people flock to him for advice the queen of sheba traveled how many miles to see solomon just to see his wisdom 
when we have God, then why can't we flock to Him for every single simple thing that we are trying to do, knowing that we can't go wrong with His instructions? Why do we tend to try our own ways first before we decide that, oh, it's beyond us, let's go and check on God? Sometimes it might be unconscious that we leave God out of our plans or out of our life. We might pray to him about other people who have issues, who have um, things they are trusting God for. We might pray about everything but the things that we are planning to do. But it shouldn't be that way. God wants to be involved in your life as much as you are involved in other people's life trying to help them. God cares about you. And there's nothing that is too there's nothing that is too small to ask God about. It might even see so very obvious and clear like, oh, this is a very smooth journey. If I um, take this admission, then there's no issue. I've already been offered this job. Like I just need to move forward with it. Just talk to God about it today. You will be surprised what he has to say about these things. I hope that going forward, we will always remember him as King Immortal, King Eternal, King Invisible, the only wise God. The one who sees what we can't see and understands things that we can't even begin to comprehend. Our Father in heaven, We say good morning, we say thank you for another day. We say thank you for giving us this opportunity to learn at your feet. We say thank you for reminding us of this verse, of who you are in our life, in this universe. We thank you for everything. Lord, we ask that you help us, you continue to remind us to trust you, to seek your face on our plans, to seek your face on our decisions, Lord. Your word says that if the Lord doesn't build a city, then we labor in vain, that if you don't watch a city, then we stay awake in vain. Lord, we don't want to stay awake in vain. We don't want to labor in vain. We want you to be involved in our life and in our plans and in everything that has to do with us, every single thing even the ones that seem insignificant to people around us we want you to be involved in every little detail of our life lord we ask for your help we ask for your presence in our everyday life lord we commit today into your hands as always that you take control that only your will be done in our lives in our family in our career in our academics whatever it is lord we put everything in your hands today we say take control and may your name be praised in our lives in jesus name thank you lord for answered prayers in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen thank you for listening to today's podcast episode don't forget to share with as many people as you can have a nice day bye